talking about parallel, perpendicular, and intersecting lines. All right, so a parallel line is any set of lines that will never touch. So if you look over here, you have two sets of parallel lines, and they are never going to intersect or they're never going to touch. They're never going to cross. They're parallel. They can go in any direction. So they can go up and down, they can go from side to side, or they can go from left to right. A very good clue that you have a set of parallel lines is by looking at the L's in parallel. The two L's in the word parallel are parallel themselves. So that's a very good clue when looking at parallel lines. The symbol when identifying or labeling a parallel line is a set of parallel lines that go in the direction that the lines are parallel. So they could be um, up and down, they could be side to side, or they could be diagonal depending on the direction that the parallel lines go in. All right, next, we're gonna talk about perpendicular lines. Perpendicular lines will intersect Intersect means to cross to make a 90 degree angle, okay? Now, if you look over here, we think about intersecting lines in two examples. We think about it as intersecting making the plus sign or intersecting making the time sign. We know that they're perpendicular lines because when they intersect or when they cross, they make 90 degree angles in all four corners. We call this the plus sign of perpendicular. It makes 90 degrees in all four corners. Or the time sign, perpendicular line. And when they intersect, and when you have to kind of tilt your head to look at it, but if you tilt your head and look at it, in the corners right here, it does make 90 degree angle. So remember, perpendicular means that it intersects and makes right angles. And you can also see that by drawing the squares in the corners to identify that it's also a right angle, okay? Now, the symbol for perpendicular is going to be a upside down T because if you look at the symbol of it, you're going to see that in the corner, you can also find a right angle or 90 degrees. So the symbol for a perpendicular line when labeling it is an upside down T. So I would read this as line AB is perpendicular to line CD. And last but not least, we have the intersecting lines. These lines will intersect, but do not make a right angle. Okay, so they will intersect, they will cross, but they're not going to make a right angle or 90 degrees. For example, right here, you see that the lines do intersect, but you don't see right angles or you don't see 90 degrees. What they are going to create is they are going to create obtuse angles and acute angles. So an intersecting line will create two obtuse angles and two right angles. And that's one way to check whether it's intersecting or if it's perpendicular. You know if it's intersecting if two of the angles are obtuse and two of the angles are acute. Okay? Intersecting and perpendicular. That's it for today, boys and girls. Please um, walk around your house and see if you can find parallel lines, perpendicular lines, or intersecting lines as you go about your day. Have a great day, stay safe and healthy, and as always, we'll see you soon.